chapter one, Mishnah two. This Mishnah opens with a statement that sides with one of the two opinions in the previous Mishnah. We do not request, i.e. mention rain, by saying he makes the wind blow and he makes the rain fall, except close to the season of rain, which begins after Shemini Atzeris. For this reason, we start mentioning rain only on Shemini Atzeris, as Rabbi Yeshua ruled in the previous Mishnah. The Mishnah identifies the specific prayer of Shemini Atzeris in which we begin mentioning rain. Rabbi Yehuda says this is the law regarding the one that who goes before the ark to lead the public prayer on the last Yom Tov day of the festival, i.e. on Shemini Atzeris. The last one to go before the Ark, i.e. the one who leads the Musaf service, mentions rain. But the first one who leads the Chakra service does not mention it. This means that we, we do not say the phrase, he makes the wind blow, etc. in the Chakra service of Shemini Atzeris, but we do say it in the Musaf service. We continue to mention rain through the winter until the first day of Pesach. The Mishnah identifies the specific prayer of the first day of Pesach in which we stop mentioning rain. On the first Yom Tov day of Pesach, the first one to go before the Ark, i.e. the one who leads the Chakra service, mentions rain. But the last one, the one who leads the Musaf service, does not mention it. Thus, we continue mentioning rain until the Musaf service of the first day of Pesach. Until this point, the discussion has only been about mentioning the powers of rain. He makes the wind blow and he makes the rain fall. However, there is another phase that we add to the Shemona Esri in the winter, namely, and give dew and rain for a blessing. In this phrase, we ask God to send rain. Until when in the winter do we ask for rain by saying, and give dew and rain for a blessing? The answer to this question is a matter of dispute. Rebbe Yehuda says, we ask for rain until the festival of Pesach passes. But Rebbe Meir says, we ask for rain until the month of Nisan departs, because rain is beneficial throughout the month of Nisan. As it is stated, he brought down rain for you, the early rain and the late rain, in the first month, Nisan. See Joel chapter 2, verse 23. Since this verse, which praises God for bringing rain in the month of Nisan, does not specify a particular date, it implies that rain is beneficial throughout the entire month. We therefore ask for rain until the end of Nisan.